Hello everyone, I welcome you all at Baiju's Exam Prep YouTube platform. So in today's Trichopedia session, I'm going to discuss about uh, some properties of state transcend matrix. Sometimes uh, state transcend matrix is given in the, in the options and you have to select which option is correct. It means which matrix represent the state transcend matrix. So there are simple trick to check it. The first trick is uh, you put t equal to zero in all the options. The options which gives you identity matrix may be the represent may be the you can say maybe the state transcend matrix because we know that uh, the state transcend matrix at t equal to zero become identity matrix. This is the first property. But uh, let me tell you guys with this property, uh, if you uh, with putting t equal to zero, if it is give you identity matrix, it's not necessary that uh, 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 you will find the right answer. Now the next property is if you multiply a state transcend matrix with itself, it means you are taking square of the state transcend matrix. And if you replace T with 2T, you will get the same answer. It means in the state transcend matrix phi T, you replace T with 2T and you multiply phi T with itself. Now that two things will be same. Okay, this is the second property that you can apply in the, in the question and you can select uh, which option is satisfying that property. Okay, so this is the next property of state transcend matrix. If you got, want to uh, check one more property, then what you can do is you can replace T with minus T and take the inverse of state transcend matrix. Now these two things must be equal. Inverse of the state transcend matrix and if you replace T with minus T, the both matrices will be equal. So the, there are these three properties by which you can check which option represent the state transcend matrix. Now, let's say you want to calculate e to the power 80. Now, e to the power, calculation of e to the power 80 is again a tricky thing. Uh, maximum student use the Laplace transform to calculate e to the power 80. e to the power 80 can be represented as Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse. This is the way you can represent, uh, you can calculate e to the power 80. Now there are one more method or maybe two more methods by which you can calculate e to the power 80 is one is a Sylvester interpolation method. Now please check this method. I have taught you in the in the sessions. Uh, this is a very good method to calculate state transcend matrix and there is one more uh, one more method that is using uh, eigenvector matrix s into e to the power lambda t into s inverse. This is again e to the power 80. Okay, so this method is used when eigenvector matrix is given and eigenvalues are given. Then directly you can calculate e to the power 80. That is S. S is the eigenvector matrix. e to the power lambda t. Lambda is a diagonal matrix. Okay, so you can directly calculate e to the power lambda t. Okay, and then S inverse. So please watch this uh, video. I mean, I have recorded that video. You can watch it on YouTube platform uh, on Baiju's exam prep and uh, you can get the idea how to calculate e to the power 80. So there are two, three methods to find e to the power 80. Please uh, ponder about it, okay? So in today's session, we will discuss only these points. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and uh, don't forget to like this session. And please share this video to your friends also. Uh, that's all guys. Uh, see you in the next Trichopedia session. Thank you.